thing I noticed was these clips that hold the molding to the walls. This is actually held in through the window. And I found out that the window nuts, like the nuts around the windows were actually loose. I could take them off with my hands. So these are the inside walls of the van right now. You can see that there are some clips still there. Those are welded into the wall. Those are for the seat belts. It's going to take a grinder to get them off. But you can see the van is pretty empty now. Next thing is to remove the floor. That bolt is actually stripped or a little bit. It's got dirt and stuff like that. I'm going to need like an impact wrench to get that out. And then these, these little restraints, which were used to strap the prisoners in place as a seatbelt. Those straps, which some are right there anyway, you know, but uh, the uh, straps there are actually uh, gone. And, you know, these are bolted through the floor with a nut on the bottom. So I'll have to grind them off by the bottom, I'm guessing. I would like to get the ceiling down at some point. But the problem is... This is a big headliner right here, and if I remove it, I need a place to throw it out. I can't just leave it on the side of the street. But once I do that, <sighs> ceiling's the limit, I guess. I'm trying to work on my lock right here. The lock will not open with a key. It only locks with a key. So what I'm going to do is put a tie wrap around it, and then maybe it'll help me push up the lock. So this is the lock assembly, right there. And, I'm not sure if you could see inside here, but there's this rod right there in the back. That rod pushes up from the lock, and it goes all the way up into this part of the lock here. And it's gonna be hard to see, but right behind that, that gold part is where the lock assembly is going up and if I put this tie wrap into the lock and string it this way it'll actually trigger the lock I think okay you can see the tie wrap right here it's spinning around where it does a L shape going up into the lock and I think there was too much play in it so check this out if I take a key Put the key in the lock. That can't hold the door in the lock at the same time. But, look over here. That's what all it took, was a tie wrap around this shape that goes up, corner, up. And it goes through a little hole, but I, don't, I think there was too much play in the rod, so the tie wrap really did the trick. Now, I don't know how long it'll stay there. It might fall off after a week or two. Who knows? But just put another tie wrap there or a tie wrap underneath that tie wrap. It'll be a lot more help when I get the bits to take the lock out and then actually put it on the tie wrap permanently, and maybe that'll help the lock there. It's a 20-year-old van. There's bound to be problems. You know, there's bound to be a lot of problems on a van like this. I am so excited that this door works now. Like, this was scary to me. That I didn't have the ability to get into my van. So now, when I stick my key in like this, and I go, it's unlocked. That is so awesome. And then, when I shut it, if I didn't lock it from the inside, and I stick my key in again, and go, now it's locked. And I can't get in. That was awesome because that was worrying me so much. I did buy an E-clip for the lever of the cylinder to push up the rod. When I installed it, it was only locking it, not locking it again, or unlocking it again. So it only locked it, it didn't unlock it. And that was freaking me out. I'm like, 
What do I buy? A new cylinder? Do I have to buy all four new cylinders for all the locks around? Do I have to buy a new lock assembly? Because that might be on a hundred bucks or something. All I had to do was get a zip tie and it was an L shape and I put it up a little higher to push up the lock. And I readjust it a little bit. But if I get that torque set inside, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue that zip tie wherever it went. And that way it'll stay there for a lot longer. Maybe a crack a little, maybe a year or two, but that's all I need. I need this side door to work because the side doors are where we go in all the time. The back doors is where we load our equipment when we're traveling. I'm glad everyone saw this video. Please do me a favor, subscribe, like it, or comment what you think about my lock situation. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Thank you very much.